Hey friends, it's Christy here for Lawn Fawn. Today I'm going to be making a card using Den Sweet Den, Rub a Dub Dub, and Totally Awesome. So I've stamped out all the images that I'll be using with jet black ink on some Mina Solar White 80 pound cardstock, and I'm going to be coloring with my Copic markers. I'm starting with my bear, and I wanted him to be a brown bear, so I pulled out E43, E44, and E47, but I kind of changed my mind about that E47 and decided to lay in my shadows with the E44 and see how I liked that, and I ended up thinking that that was good, so I skipped the E47 altogether for him. So I used that E47 to lay in my shadows. I put a lot down the right side of his body. I want to keep his face nice and light. So I'm going to have his back in shadow. I also made sure to kind of separate out the arms, creating a little shadow where those are overlapping his body and also around his nice chubby little legs. And then I'm blending that out with the E43. And I pulled in the E42 to be my highlight shade. And so I'm going to fill in his ears and all around his face and arms and uh, most of the rest of his body with that E42. I am going to leave his muzzle white and his belly because I wanted those areas to be even softer. So once I have that all blended out and I'm gonna put um, just the tiniest bit of shadow on his belly then I will pull in the E41 and I'm going to finish his belly and muzzle with that and then I'm going to do a second layer of coloring on him off screen just to save some time in the video but I really like how it just increases the saturation and helps with the blend and um, I just really like the way the images look. So I'm moving on now to the tops of my cattails. And for those, I'm using E44, E47, and E49. And I did two with the shading a little more on the left and two with the shading a little more on the right so I can use them on different areas of the scene. And then I'm moving on to my log. And I wanted that to be something pretty different from the bear. So I decided to use my E70s. They have a lot of gray tone in them. So I thought that would also help it look like a worn, you know, dead log that's been sitting there for some time, kind of bleached in the sun. So I used E70, E71, E74, and E77. I chose four different markers because I wanted to create a lot of variation in the surface of this wood because it should have, you know, some texture to it. So that will help it look nice and weathered. Then I'm moving on to my cattail grasses. And for those, I'm using G21. G24 and G28. And because it's such a small area on each, I'm just going to do all of them at once. So I'm using that G28 to flick in a little darkness from the bottom. And I'm going to blend toward the top because that would be where the sun would hit the most. So I use the G24 as my midtone and then left the tips of each of those little stems. Um, white so that I could fill those in with the G21 for my highlight. As those dragged back I realized that I did want a bit more contrast so when I went in with my second layer I also added the G29 and just did a few quick flicks from the bottom to kind of add that depth and contrast there. While I'm working with my greens, I thought I would also do my lily pads. And for those, I wanted something that had that similar dusty tone to it, but was a little bit different. So I pulled out YG61, YG63, and YG67. 
and I'm going to color one of them with my shadows at the bottom and blend toward the top and then the other one I'm going to put my shadows at the top and that's just so that I can flip it upside down on the card later on and have it look um, in the reverse of the other lily pad. So it just gives me more variety. So I've got a lot of neutral tones going on so far, so I wanted to bring in something really vibrant and happy. So I thought this yellow combo would be perfect for the ducklings because it's just so sunshiny and happy. So I picked Y13, Y15, and Y17. And again, I'm just shading them in the direction that they're facing so the shadows are down their backs and that way I can keep their faces nice and highlighted. And by the way, if you're curious why I was combining these particular images today, this card is inspired by those stories of unlikely animal friendships. Um, I'm always just really touched by those. I know that there's um, the, the bear and the lion and the tiger that are like best buddies. And then there's another one with an elephant and a dog. And there's just so many really cool stories of animals who normally wouldn't be friends or even exist in the same um, place in the animal kingdom, but somehow they meet up and become best buddies against the odds. And I just thought that that would be a really cool thing to try to capture today. So if you're a fan of those unlikely animal friendships too, leave me a comment down below what is your favorite that you've heard of. So I've moved on to the ducklings beaks and feet and I used YR04 and YR07 for those. And then I'm going to do my little water lilies and I picked R20 and R11 because I wanted them to be really pale and soft. So I just used a little R20 at the base of each petal and then blended that out with the R11 and kind of let it fade to the white at some of the tips. For my dragonflies, I wanted to do kind of like a two-tone effect on their wings. So I'm going to do the bottom wings on each one in red, and I picked R24 and R29 for those. And then I wanted to do the top wings turquoise, so I picked BG11 and BG13. And I'm just putting the darkest color closest to the body and then getting lighter as I get toward the tips of the wings. And I don't know, I just thought that that would um, give me an opportunity to add a bit more color on this scene as well. I decided to add some rosy cheeks to my critters. So I pulled out R20 and R11 again and did a little oval shape with the R20 and then just went around the edge of that with the R11 to help that fade. And then I will trim all of these images out with their matching dies. For my focal panel, I'm building that with a piece of mermaid cardstock die cut with the small stitch rectangle stackables. Then I have a grassy border out of cilantro. I have a stitch simple wavy border out of peacock. And then a meadow border from noble fur. I've popped the cilantro panel into my Misty and I'm going to be stamping a sentiment from Long Distance Hugs in Noble Fur ink. So I put together the one that says Sending Long Distance Hugs and I'm going to stamp that out a couple of times to make sure that I get a really dark bold impression. And then I'm going to pop my card base in my Misty and I've created that out of another piece of mermaid cardstock and I'm going to stamp on the inside using peacock ink. And I took the other little bear from Den Sweet Den and another of the ducklings and the sentiment that says, I'm a lucky duck to have you as my friend. To assemble my focal panel, I'm going to work front to back. So I'm going to adhere the cilantro grassy border to the peacock wavy border using my Lawn Fawn glue tube and just making sure that those line up nice and straight on the edges. 
and then I'll take that peacock piece and adhere that to the noble fur meadow border. And then once I'm sure I have those edges lined up, I will adhere that to my background piece, which is the mermaid cardstock, and that will be my sky. So I'll set that aside to dry, and in the meantime, I'm going to flip through my Hello Sunshine Remix pattern paper pad and choose two prints to use on today's card. I knew I wanted this rainbow stripe, and then I was going through my scraps to see if anything there would work, but I ended up deciding to use this yellow print that has the Hello Sunshine text across it because I thought that went perfectly with our little uh, ducklings. So I die cut those with the large stitch rectangle stackables and I'm going to adhere those to my card front. Those are gonna cover up the card base completely. So I did the rainbow stripe over the entire card and then the yellow Hello Sunshine print is going to go right across the center horizontally. I've also added some foam tape to the back of my focal panel. So I'll peel off those release papers and then I'll line that up in the center of the card and press that down into place. And now I am ready to start adhering my images and I'm going to add the log first because I want to have my little bear sitting on top of that. I also use the extra die cut that lets you cut out the bear's arms and I tucked one of the little ducklings inside so that they could be hugging. So I think that looks super cute. And then I'm gonna add the other two ducklings on either side. So I have one to the right of the log and then the other one is going to be just a little bit further away on the left. And now that I have my main images kind of placed where I want them, I'll start to fill in the background with all of my little accessory images. So I'm going to take two of the cattails, one taller and one shorter, and tuck those behind the grasses over on the left, just to kind of balance out that side of the card. And then I will add a lily pad to the lake. And I'm going to put that right behind the duckling. I'm going to put another one over in the space on the right hand side of the card. And just make sure that they're at slightly different levels so they don't look too matchy. And then I will um, add one more cattail close to the bear. And the last cattail on the very far right. Um, over by the duckling. Then I'll add my water lilies and I'm going to put those kind of growing up over the edge of the lily pads just so I can have the pop of pink which ties into that pattern paper on each side of the card. And then I was trying to figure out where I wanted these two little grasses to go. I put one in front of the log just to help kind of integrate that front part of um, the scene into the rest so it's not so uh, pushed back. And then I put the other one over on the left hand side to balance out the other images on the right. And then I'll use my three little dragonflies to kind of fill in that empty space at the top and also add some pops of color up in the sky. As a finishing touch, I'm going to add some stardust stickles so that I have a bit of sparkle on the card. So I put that on the dragonfly wings and the water lilies and also on the cattails. And that is going to complete my card for today. I will lift that up to the camera so you can see all of the detail and how that stickles catches the light. I'll give you another peek at the inside. I had so much fun creating this card for you, so I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button and leave me a comment down below. I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.